you're tasked with introducing three movies to someone who has never watched a movie. The criteria, a movie that scared you, a movie that made you laugh out loud, and a movie that had your mind blown at the end. What three movies do you pick? Event Horizon, The Naked Gun, The Matrix, 1. Yes. Event Horizon messed with me when I saw it. Agreed, effing nightmares. I came here looking for Event Horizon. The Exorcist. Airplane. The Matrix, blown mind all the way through. You think that's glue you're sniffing? I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing glue. The thing dot accepted dot the prestige. Rewatch the prestige. Such an amazing movie. Underappreciated. I think it was one of Batman and Wolverine's greatest movies. Also Bowie's in it. What's not to like? Alfred and Black Widows, too. It's a different movie the second time around. I've watched it multiple times but by far my favorite was the second time. My favorite was somewhere between the third and sixth time, I think, when I realized that you can absolutely tell which Borden Christian Bale is playing in every effing scene. Because you're watching closely. And you know what's effed? First time I ever watched it. I could not tell. At effing all. Like I said, it was somewhere between the third and sixth time for me, because I absolutely wasn't aware of it the first two times and I can't narrow down when the inkling became realization became certainty. The prestige is Christopher Nolan at his best emo. Except it is hilarious. Jonah Hill in that mascot suit is jokes. Ask me about my whiner? President James Garfield wore the suit like a gentleman. Accepted was amazing but the best was Adam Hirschman as Glenn. Glenn, oh, hey, guys. Bartleby, hey, what's up, Glenn? Schrader, hey, Glenn, when did you start working at the Quick and Stop? Glenn, since I got boned, hard, by every college I applied to. Bartleby, why? What happened? Glenn, some political crap. I got a zero on my SATs. Schrader, you know you get 600 points just for signing your name, right? Glenn. Chuckles, then stops and groans. He makes that movie for me. An explosion of flavor. I'm working on some very unstable herbs. When Jonah Hill shrieks when the skeleton comes out, when they're cleaning the mental institute, I absolutely lost it. The Prestig, top of my list too. The Thing was the first movie I thought of. Hereditary, Super Bad, The Sixth Sense. Good picks. Hereditary stressed me out. One of the best horror slash suspense films I've ever seen. I think I stopped breathing for a few minutes during that scene. The freakiest one was her knocking on the attic door. Tony Collette's acting in that scene was just splendid. I literally held my breath so she wouldn't notice me through the movie theater screen. Super creepy. There were so many that scenes in that movie. The one with the car. That wasn't even the worst for me. The final few scenes with the mom give me the heebie-jeebies. The ceiling scene as the room slowly becomes illuminated like his eyes are adjusting to the darkness, and you spot her. Gets me every time. And when she bangs on the attic door, so scary, mother effer Jesus Lord, I was in the theater watching with this girl I was seeing, and I was afraid she was going to cut all ties with me for having made her see that movie, which scared the living crap out of her. I thought you meant the one with the dark ceiling. One of the most underrated scenes of the movie is very quick and subtle. Towards the end it shows a view of the house during the daytime then quickly transitions to the night. When it's nighttime you can see a f ton of the naked people all around the house and near the trees. It happens really quick but it's effing creepy. I specifically came here to see if Sixth Sense was in anyone's list. Well done. Super Bad was the first movie that popped into my head for the Laugh Out Loud movie too. McLovin. What's up gangsters? Silence of the Lambs, The Other Guys, Fight Club. 
I see you like to aim for the bushes. I don't want no scrubs. Captain you just said it. TLC. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Zero idea. The Other Guys is the greatest movie of all time hands down. Dirty Mike and the Boys. We will have sex in your car. I hear they call that a soup kitchen. We found a deer vagina in the back seat. Can't believe I had to scroll down so far to find Fight Club, it was the first thing I thought of. Some people remembered the rules. The Exorcist, Dogma, Interstellar. Interstellar blew my mind. I didn't think Christopher Nolan would be able to top the Dark Knight but I'd say Interstellar came really close. Nolan already topped TDK before doing TDK with movies like The Prestige and Memento. I was hoping I'd see Interstellar in this thread. Great movie. Insidious, What We Do in the Shadows, No Country for Old Men or Sicario. Edit, Man, A Lot of Overly Critical People. You know people have differing opinions, right? Take a deep breath, and move on. What we do in the shadows was one that popped into my mind first? Thank you for this. Tyka spits straight hot fire. What we do in the shadows is a mad movie. They also made an adaptive TV show which is true to the theme and hilarious. Movie is great but I love the show a tad more. Nadia and her Gregor. I just finished watching it, it's effing good. Bat. Just a normal human bartender named Jackie Daytona. We drank the blood of some people, but the people were on drugs. Now I am a wizard. Watched Insidious when I was a kid. Been a effing pussy ever since and have never watched a scary movie again. That movie made me scared of the dark. Now I just don't understand what people like about being scared. I watched Insidious while drunk. I was too drunk to find it scary, but I knew even while watching it in a stupor, that if I was sober, this movie would be scary as f. Why none other than Shrek 1, 2, and 3? You mean Shrek 1, 2 and Forever After? The whole trilogy. Holy. Or start with Shrek 3 to scare them. It's okay. It's all ogre now. Shrek 4, it's not ogre. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Coraline, when I was a kid it freaked me out, The Princess Bride, Inception. I was looking for Coraline. It's no joke. Used to ask my mom if it was possible to use buttons as eyes. And don't get me started on that metal groping hand. Just watched Princess Bride, again, and realized about 30 minutes into it. My cheeks and jaw were aching because I was genuinely smiling and laughing the whole time. The book's just as good, with extra meta-ness. Three hours in and no Princess Bride quotes? That would be absolutely, totally, and in all other ways, inconceivable. You keep on using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. Inception is on my list too. But yes, Coraline. Can't believe the target audience was children, if it even was. Paranormal activity, considering they've never seen a movie before then they would probably think this is real. Dumb and Dumber, my personal favorite comedy of all time. The Departed, not necessarily a mind deaf but it has one of the best twist endings I've ever seen. Dumb and Dumber has to be one of the most quotable movies ever made. The Departed has two twist endings. Maybe three depending on what you count. I was literally laughing out loud in the theater on several different scenes in Dumb and Dumber. Great choice and this is a solid three. Requiem for a dream, this is the end, the usual suspects. Now, the last one was spoiled for me long before I watched it, but I feel obligated to include it. Edit, people are saying that if one has never seen the other movies the actors in This is the End star in, it wouldn't be fully appreciated. I see the point, so I choose two films to replace it, Casa de mi Padre if the person speaks Spanish and is familiar with Mexican westerns and Latin cultures enough to understand the comedy, 
and the other guys have not. Both are absolutely hilarious Will Ferrell movies. Requiem for a Dream is the greatest movie that I never want to see again. I watched This is the End in the theater and I was scream laughing at the exorcism of Jonah Hill. Oh, am I being compelled? Oh really Jay? Does it? Does it compel me? Requiem for a Dream. I truly believe that Requiem should be screened in schools, maybe 7th grade? Completely unedited. Yeah, there is nudity and cursing and sexual stuff and drug use, but that is the point. You want to scare the crap out of kids about drug use. Hey Jimmy you want your infected arm cut off in crafty prison hospital? Do drugs. Hey Sally you want to be forced to do degrading sexual stuff for money? Do drugs. It would work a whole lot better than D.A.R.E. programs. Honestly I didn't choose it but the usual suspects also blew my mind at the end, great movie. Ah crap I totally forgot to add Requiem for a Dream to my list, top 5. Darren Aronofsky, SP? Absolutely blew my mind with this movie. I still have the soundtrack on my Spotify. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.